because of who you are. Yeah, you can keep going, Bailey. Keep going. Yeah, just because of who you are, God, we have love because you poured it into our hearts. We have joy because you released it into our hearts. Peace because you became our peace. Righteousness because you gave us righteousness. It's because of who you are that we have what we have in you. We remember who you are as we wait upon you. We remember who you are. When I remember, it stirs up love. When I remember, it stirs up joy. When I remember, it gives me peace. Oh, when I remember that I'm righteous because of the word you spoke over me. We remember who you are. We remember that you're a father. We remember that you're a bridegroom. We remember that you are the Lord. We remember that you are a king. We remember you. It gives us confidence to wait on you as we remember. We can wait patiently because we remember who you are. Oh, we remember that you are our Father. We remember that you are the Bridegroom, Jesus. We remember that you are Lord and Creator, that you are the beginning of everything for us. We can wait on you. Because you are who you are. remember as we wait patiently we remember we remember those years of your faithfulness we remember when we cried out for help and you answered we remember God how you changed our nature that we didn't change our own nature you gave us a new nature we remember when you pour out your spirit from on high things we've never seen of Oh, we remember, God. We remember. It helps us to wait when we remember.
Sis, friend. 
until the very end. I will worship you until the very end. I will worship you until the very end. Jesus, lover of my soul, Jesus, I will never let you go. Taking me from the Mary clay and set my feet upon the rock, and now I know I love and I need you, and though my world may fall, I'll never let you go. Until the very end, we will worship you until the very end. We will worship you until the very end. Oh, we've come to worship. Oh, we've come to pray. where we were before we're not where we were before we're not where we were before Father, this is all because of you, God. We're not where we were. It's all because of your working. So, Lord, we say that we will worship you until the very end, God. We will keep coming back to you. Because you are the lover of our soul. Lord, we will cling to you. Because you've brought us into this spacious place, having received what we never thought we were capable of receiving. Being who we never imagined we could be, God. This is because of you. Who is the God that can transform a human heart? Who is the God that can take darkness out of eyes and replace them with light? Who is the God that can turn a murderer into a lover? You are this God. No human hand. No human effort can do what only you can do. We will worship you, God, and to the very end. And even only that statement can be fulfilled by your grace, God. Oh, God, we worship you. You are the lover of our souls. You are the keeper of the flame inside of us. Morning, noon, and night, we come to say thank you. We come leaning upon our beloved. Oh Lord, 
we say, come what may. Come what may, you've brought us this far. Come what may, you are the lover of our souls. Come what may, oh God, you've yet done so much. Come what may, oh Lord. Come what may, here we are, your beloved bride. Come what may, we will watch and wait. Come what may, oh Lord, we will come. We will return to this place, God, where we meet with you face to face. Oh, Jesus, you are the lover of our souls. You are the one that picked us up and turned us around and placed us on this solid ground that we know today, God. always been you it was you God it's always been you it will forever be you here we are to worship you here we are to say thank you God to pour out our hearts to entrust ourselves to you again because we need to entrust ourselves to the Lord again. So I took your momentum, I took your strength, and I, I started to work it on my own, and I thought I could do it, but I realized it was always you. Oh, we entrust ourselves again to you. Oh, if that's, if that's you, just entrust yourself to Him again and say it's only by grace. It's only through faith. It was always you. It's always going to be you. We wait patiently upon the Lord. Because it's always been you.
harder to recognize the person I was before I encountered Christ. I don't walk like I used to. I don't talk like I used to. I've been washed from the inside. I've been washed from the inside. Cause everything changed. It's getting harder to person I was before I encountered Christ. I don't walk like I used to. I don't talk like I used to. I've been washed from the inside. I've been washed from the inside. It could have only been your blood Hallelujah, hallelujah I know it was the blood It could have only been your blood It could have only been your blood Lord. could have only been your blood Hallelujah, hallelujah, everything's changed, cause everything's changed, it's getting harder to recognize the person I was, thank you Lord, before I encountered Christ, I don't walk like I used to, I don't talk like I used to. I've been washed from the inside I've been washed from the inside out And hallelujah, hallelujah I know it was the blood It could have only been the blood Hallelujah, hallelujah I know it was the blood
thank you for your blood. Thank you, Jesus, for your righteousness, for everything that you've done. Oh, Lord, we boast in you. Oh, we boast in your blood. We boast in your works. We boast in who you are. Lord, we boast in your wisdom. We boast in your love. We boast in how powerful your blood is to clean, to make new. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, we've been saved. We've been redeemed. We've been bought. I was thinking of this verse in 1 Corinthians, this scripture, this passage. 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 28, and it's talking about, it says, God chose what is low and despised in the world, even things that are not to bring to nothing things that are, so that no human being might boast in the presence of God. In verse 30, it says, and because of him, you are in Christ Jesus, who became to us wisdom from God, righteousness and sanctification and redemption, so that as it is written, let no one boast, let no one who boasts, sorry, let the one who boasts, boast in the Lord. Let the one who boasts, boast in the Lord. And, and we're going to boast. I feel like we've been boasting in his righteousness. And, and I just wanted to bring language that we're also boasting in how he's sanctifying us today. Oh, we're boasting that he is the one making us holy and like him. Oh, as we behold him and look at his eyes today. Oh, Lord, we boast that you are burning away every insecurity every impure thought, everything, Lord, when we look in your eyes, we know what we're supposed to be like. And Lord, your spirit comes and breathes and allows us supernaturally to become like you, going from one glory to another glory. And we say, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. That today we're being sanctified. That today we're becoming more and more like him. Oh, that by faith we come and we say we're righteous, we're holy. And by faith we come and we say, oh, make us more like you, Jesus. Oh, we boast in your works. We boast in your blood. We boast in your cross. We boast in your, in your death, your burial, your resurrection, Lord. We boast in your life, in your life, in your life. Oh, we make our boast, we make our claim in you. Oh, everything good in us is you. Everything good within us, everything good 
just seeing these banners over us. I'm seeing us kind of like the army of the Lord marching into battle with these banners lifted up. Just coming in with their, with their testimony, their statement about who the Lord is. And that statement is the declaration that some may trust in horses and chariots and the strength of their army. But we trust in the name of the Lord. What is the name of the Lord? What's the banner over you that you trust in the Lord? You trust in his love. You trust in his power. You trust in his faithfulness. What's the banner over you that you trust in, that you march into battle? When the enemies of God come against you, what's the banner of praise that you lift up? His banner over me is this. His banner over me is this. Oh, I thank you, God. That the word tells us that the banner over us is love, God. And your love, God, casts out all fear, God. Oh, thank you, God, for your banner over us. That you declare to our enemies that you love us, God. And that banner over us should remove all fear and all anxiety because you lift up a banner over us. And you say that your banner over us is love. Zephaniah tells us differently that he dances over us. That he's making a declaration over us that should cause us to feel loved and to have no fear. God, thank you for your banner over us. That it is love, love, love that removes all fear, all anxiety about the enemy that we may be looking at. Come on, we're circling around Jericho seven times, not being afraid because his banner over us is love. take us into a posture of intercession. Shout your name over us. You've done it before. Do it again. Shout your name of faithfulness over me. Shout your name of Jireh over me. Shout your name over me. Oh, shout your name. Shout your name over me. As you have been, be that again, oh God. Shout your name over me. You are the creator, you are the instigator. You are the one that forms my future by your words. Shout the name of the word of God over me. Shout your name over me, God. I need you in this way. I've seen you before, but I'm not seeing you now. Shout your name over me. Oh, shout your name as the Redeemer over my family. Shout your name, shout your name.
feel in the way of intercession and that there's a boasting that we're doing in the Lord but you might find that it's not so much of a boast but more of a cry and I was reminded of the story in Exodus Exodus 2 verse 23 it says during those many days the king of Egypt died and the people of Israel groaned because of the slavery and they cried out for help their cry for rescue from slavery came up to God and God heard their groaning and God remembered his covenant with Abraham with Isaac and with Jacob God saw the people of Israel and God knew and I just I feel like the Lord is saying just to cry out, especially just in the way of intercession, I feel like there's a, there's a cry to be released over injustice, maybe in your life or, 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 or a city that you're passionate about. And I just wanna intercede with you together in the room and cry out to the Lord, who shout His name and just declare, Lord, only you can say, Lord, only you can save. Lord, only you can make the wrong things right. Lord, justice is yours. We put it in your hands. Lord, any anger within us, Lord, let it just come as a cry for help to the only one who can help, to the only one who can help. Oh Lord, we boast in your name and even even if we can't boast and be glad and be grateful, Lord, here's our cry for help. Oh, here's our cry, Lord. I just want to encourage you, if you, if you need prayer, and if you say, man, I have a cry in my heart, maybe it's for your family, maybe it's for a city, maybe it's for an injustice that you know of, and just want to invite you to stand, and we can pray together, and intercede, and go with the Lord together. So Lord, we, we just lift these cries up to you, and we shout your name, Jesus, you can say Oh, Lord, we ask, come. Come hear the cry of injustice. And come and pour out your love, Jesus. Come and remember the covenant. Oh, we just declare the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. It's the covenant we have today that you came and you gave your life for all. So here we are, Lord, crying out that your covenant would reach these injustices. Things that are coming to mind is like trafficking, human trafficking, and even in our own city, and abuse. Oh Lord, hear the cry of, of, of the young ones. Lord, hear the cry of the lonely ones. Hear the cry of the ones that are stuck in bondage and even slavery today, Lord. Hear the cry. Hear the cry. Lord, we boast today in your name, declaring only you can. Only you can, Jesus. Only you can. Oh, let your glory come forth, Lord, in this city, Lord, in this state, Lord, in this country, in this region. Let your glory come forth. Oh, that darkness would be exposed. That wrongs would be made right because of what you've done on the cross, because of what you're doing today in hearts, because your glory is being released by those who love you and who know you and who have the Holy Spirit within them. Go. Oh, let us go forth. Lord, I just pray for the church even in this city. Lord, fill them with your glory, that they would shine, that, the, that your face would shine on theirs and light would come. Jesus, come, 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 we need you, Lord, we know your name is a strong tower, oh, so we boast in you, and we declare your name, Jesus, Savior, Savior, oh, there's no other name by which we are saved. There's no other name by which we are saved physically, emotionally, mentally. 
spiritually. It's only by your name, Jesus. It's only by your name. You are the way. You are the truth. You're the only hope, Lord. Oh, for these deep, deep, deep injustices, Lord. Oh, only you have the answer. It's too lofty for us. It's too high for us. But Lord, you, you sit in the heavens and you laugh. You laugh, you confident laugh. So Lord, we are confident in you. We are confident in your laughter. We're confident in your joy. Oh, hallelujah. Say 